Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now this, are you just gonna be in the background? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Siobhan and I'm a second year medical student studying at King's College London. So, um, if you are new here, I make videos about medical school and university, which is what this channel is all about. If you haven't checked it out yet, be sure to check it out right now or after the video. And if you like it, do hit that subscribe button and follow me for a lot more videos. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get right into today's video, which is about my favorite note-taking apps as a student, a medical student, but generally a student in university. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So basically, I think we've all crossed that point where we've stopped taking notes on a notebook or on a notepad, most of us. And we moved to taking digital notes. Um, I've definitely moved to that point. And I know it began with me taking notes on the notes app and on Word and things like that. And digital note taking has evolved far beyond that, obviously. So I'm gonna break down what my three favorite digital note taking apps are so that you can check them out, you can use them and they can potentially help you. So let's get right into it. My first app that I'm gonna speak about and uh, this is a super popular one. Many people use it. It's Notion and Notion is popular for the reason. It's because it's a great note-taking app and that's for many reasons. So the first one for me is because of its subsetting capability. So in Notion, you can sort of subset your notes a lot. On What I mean by that is in a different note-taking app, the max you can do is create a notebook and create a note within that notebook. That is the max. But in Notion, you can create a page and within that page, you can create another page and you know, you can keep doing that and it sort of has infinite capability to sort of subset your notes and that can be really useful because sometimes you have subtopic on the subtopic that you need to take notes on. The second reason I really like Notion is because it's perfect for taking active record notes. That's because of its toggle function. The toggle function allows you to hide text underneath a sort of heading or a question or something like that and that allows you to test yourself when you come back to your notes. And then Notion also has a lot of diversity in text which can make your notes more engaging. If you have a big chunk of text that's the same font, same size, same color, same sort of like you know no bold italics, nothing, then like you know it, it just it just it's hard to engage with it, it's hard to understand it, things like that and Notion allows you to sort of vary your text which is good. And then obviously you can uh, search for anything anywhere on Notion. Suppose I made some notes on sepsis or something like that and I want to look for it. I can just type in sepsis into the search bar and I can find it anywhere within Notion which is super useful. Again, that covers everything on Notion. That's why Notion is at the top of this list, although it's in no, the list is in no particular order. That's why it's in here. The next one is Evernote. So Evernote is a much more basic note-taking app. It's much simpler. Um, it's sort of classic digital note-taking. It has the notebooks, then notes within the notebooks, and then the notes you take um, they don't have a lot of super cool features or anything, but it's pretty simple and it gets the job done. And if you're starting out taking digital notes, it's a good app to use. It's the first app I use for taking digital notes. And if you pair it with Evernote's app, which is scannable, you can just essentially scan things and send it directly to Evernote, which I've done for some handwritten notes that I've taken. And you can do for any physical documents or notes that you have. Evernote also has a um, annotation function which allows you to annotate your notes which is again super useful when you're revisiting your notes because uh, and obviously revisiting your notes is important because 
you're making notes to revisit them and to study from them essentially you're not making them just so you can take those notes and leave them and move on Evernote's just really easy to navigate and because of all of this Evernote is on this list and yeah that's Evernote now the third app we have this is an iPad app this is a no sort of you know not a typing app it's good notes 5 so good notes 5 it's my favorite app to use on my ipad and it's the app i use most on my ipad because it's the app i use to take handwritten notes so uh taking handwritten notes digitally it's a game changer because um the notes are just so much easier to you know so much more flexible you can erase things easily you can delete things easily you can bring images into your sort of notes and then you can uh, change colors very easily without you know carrying a big bag of different colors with you you know and uh, they're so much more accessible as well taking digital handwritten notes there's instead of having like sort of a big stack of papers or a big stack of like notebooks you can just have this one sort of thing where you can search again for whatever you want even amongst your handwritten notes any words anything like that and you can find it within good notes and then good notes is perfect for making diagrams mind maps things like that and it's perfect for annotating slides suppose you have sort of a lecture with really good slides that explain pretty much everything but you do want to annotate them you just save the slides instead of copying everything down annotate the slides on good notes so you sort of make it your own and uh, you can just learn from that and uh, that's why good notes is on this list that's what makes it so great you can use good notes or you can use notability both of them are pretty great hand, uh, handwritten note taking apps on uh, your ipad but uh, I chose GoodNotes because of personal preference and also because you can see flashcards on GoodNotes. I don't use that function right now because I have Anki but it's nice to have that option if I ever want to use it. And uh, also GoodNotes has text to sort of typing conversion as well which is useful. And Notability has a few things that GoodNotes doesn't. And you can compare the two and choose for yourself if you're looking at these apps. And I think that's it for good notes, and that's it for the video. That is all three of my favorite note-taking apps, and uh, they uh, I, I, I mean, they really make up a sort of note-taking arsenal for me. That really helps me study. And uh, I use them all for a different purpose, but I use them all together. I hope you found this video helpful, I hope it was enjoyable to watch and I hope it gave you some ideas in terms of finding your ideal note taking app and uh, if it did all that, if it was all that then drop a like down below, hit that subscribe button, leave any comments you want and I will see you in the next video.